afternoon, Cherry. Good afternoon, ma'am. Okay, Cherry, can you tell me about yourself? Okay, ma'am. My name is Cherry May Kabati. Married, 26 years old. I have a one baby and three years old. Okay, I have a few questions for you to answer, so let's start. Okay, ma'am. Why you want to work as a maid? Uh, to know how how to to know how to work as a housemaid. Why do you want to work as a maid? To help my family. Why you choose Malaysia when there is a lot of other country? Because near in the Philippines and same time. How are you qualified for this job? Uh, hard working, uh, more patient to my employer. May I know what your educational level is? High school graduate, ma'am. What was your recent working experience? No bad house, ma'am, 2011 to 2012. Have you worked abroad before? No, ma'am. Do you have experience of taking care of babies? Yes, ma'am. Whose babies are you taking care of? My own baby. How about elderly? Yes, ma'am. Whose elderly are you taking care of? My grandmother, ma'am. Do you have any other special skills? Yes, ma'am. Like? Cooking. Gardening. Are, okay. Are you willing to learn new skills? Yes, ma'am. Are you willing to work with a family where the mother-in-law or any relative stay together? Yes, ma'am. Currently, are you still working now? Ma'am. Do you know how to cook? Yes, ma'am. What sort of food can you cook? Philippine food. Are you aware that you will have to do washing, cleaning, ironing, and cooking? Yes, ma'am. From all the house chores that I mentioned to you, which do you like most? Uh, cleaning, cooking, uh, ironing, uh, washing, washing. If ever you were selected to work in Malaysia, who will take care of your kid? My parents. You are not allowed to use handphone during working hours. Yes, ma'am. You are only allowed to use handphone after you finish all the works and when going to bed. Yes, ma'am. You are strictly needed to surrender the handphone to your employer in the morning and your employer will return back to you once you're going to bed. Yes, ma'am. If ever your employer finds out that you're abusing of using your handphone and it's affected your work performance, your employer will confiscate your handphone and you are not allowed to hold it anymore. Yes, ma'am. Instead, your employer will allow you to call to your family three times in a month you only allowed to bring normal phone and you are not allowed to bring smartphone. Are you agreed for the terms and conditions? Yes, ma'am. Are you agreed to the rules and regulation for the handphone? Yes, ma'am. How many years is the contract as you agreed and understand? Two years, ma'am. Can you describe for me your attitude? Uh, I am uh, patient, small patient. How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? How can you assure to us that you will work hard in Malaysia? Hard working, ma'am, to do my work. Can you promise not to use the telephone without the permission of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to put on makeup but to dress properly while work? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to invite friends and relatives without the consent of your employer? Yes, ma'am. Can you promise not to ask for advance salary from your employer under any circumstances? Yes, ma'am. Do you really understand of the rules and regulation of the agency? Yes, ma'am. Do you pay any placement fee for you to come to Malaysia to work as a maid? No, ma'am. Do you have any history of sickness, breast cancer, or any other illness? No, ma'am. Do you suffer from any skin diseases, allergies, or physical defects? No, ma'am. Have you suffered from any serious illness? No, ma'am. Do you smoke? No, ma'am. 
Have you undergone any operation before? No, ma'am. Are you medically fit or are you fit to work? Medical fit, ma'am. Are you in any medication right now? No, ma'am. Are you allergic with any food? No, ma'am. Are you prepared to work for the employer of different races? Yes, ma'am. Are you prepared to eat the type of food taken or given by your employer? Yes, ma'am. Are you left alone in the house? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid of being left alone in the house? Yes, ma'am. Are you afraid alone in the house? Oh, no, 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 ma'am. No. Are you afraid of dogs or other pets? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? No, ma'am. Can you promise to work according to instruction from your employer? Yes, ma'am. Do you have any family members working in abroad? No, ma'am. Okay, um, Cherry May, we have finished our question section. Let's proceed for case study. I have a case study for you and I want you to respond truthfully. Upon arrival in Malaysia, within six months only, if ever one of your family members passed away, what will you do? I will finish my contract, Mom. One of your family members passed away, what will you do? Uh, I will ask to my employer if okay or fair with them. Then I will visit my family who passed away. But if my employer tell me that no, it's okay to me. And I will finish my contract. If in case your employer is watching you right now, what do you want to tell them? Uh, Madam, good morning. I My name is Jeremy Kabati. And I apply you as a, your housemaid. And I hope you... Uh, you accept me as your uh, housemate. I hope okay. you like. Okay, tell us about yourself again. And why do you want to work in Malaysia as domestic helper? Um, my name is Jeremy Kabati. I, I applied as a uh, housemate in Malaysia to know, to know more, to know more work as a housemaid to learn more and I do my work as a hard, hard worker. Okay, thank you very much. Cherry May, we will update to your agency if there is any selection made by the employer.